What is up, my friends, my familia, my compadres, my homies, my dogs? It's Pac Man here, and welcome back to another video. So, I wanted to make this video just to kind of give you guys an explanation as to why there hasn't been as much content coming up out, out on YouTube and um, any of you guys that are usually in my streams every day, why the stream hasn't been on as much. Um, a lot of that comes down to the fact that, I don't know, I told you last week that um, I was I'm in, the, in the process of looking for a new team and trying to find that new roster and stuff. So with that, um, I've been trialing for a bunch of different teams, um, scrimming with them and you know talking to the kind of talking to the players within and talking to the organization owners and different things like that and just been doing a lot of stuff that i can't really stream right so because that that's taken up four or five hours basically every day to try and find the right the right um the right fit and a lot of these teams don't really like it when people um you know go and when if, if i was to trial for them and then tell people i was trialing they don't seem to like that so much so that's whatever i respect that decision so i haven't been able to stream um anywhere near as frequently i haven't been playing as much ranked i've basically just been scrimming and um yeah so that's kind of why there's not been as much um content on the plus side in terms of the actual uh team hunt itself i have found a roster now uh if any of you guys know norton from the last team that i played with windigo <coughs> uh he's going to be coming along with me so he's going to be joining. It's going to be me, him, um, these two guys from EU, these French guys. Uh, they played a lot of competitive in EU, so they've got a lot of experience on that. And then I think a couple of other Australians are going to fill out the roster as well. So it's exciting. I'm, I'm excited to get back into it, start building some synergy, um, playing with them on a consistent basis, scrimming every night and stuff. So that's going to be really fun. I'm, I'm pleased that, it, that that side of things is starting to, to wrap up and it's going to be kind of become more solid. So in terms of the actual org that we're going to be playing for i don't think we know yet or we have an org right now but i'm not sure if that's the one we're going to be sticking with um so yeah once once i get that information i'll be i'll be passing that on to you but in the in on the brighter side of things i have found a team let's get it boys so as many of you guys know um the new season just dropped today operation wind bastion i'm really really excited finally i'm gonna have some content that i can put out in the channel again i'm gonna be uh, making a video a highlights video of my 10 placement matches and showing you guys how what what i ended up um ranking in at i haven't done that yet it's 10 a.m this morning it came out uh, last night i think about 10 hours ago or something like that obviously slept through the night so um i'll be getting on the grind today um probably five stacking hopefully the entire day so hopefully i'll be able to get um i think plat three is the highest you can get from placement um i think that's if you win all 10 so fingers crossed we win all 10 and get on a little bit of a rampage and maybe try and hit um high plat diamond that'd be the the dream so last season i finished on plat two didn't think i would um that was the that was the goal for this season itself for last season um considering that i dropped all the way down to silver one uh basically after placements um to, to kind of be able to grind being hard stuck to gold too like where I'm getting like 10 15 elo to be able to grind that out of there into into plat 2 was um, was really exciting so now like I've said this before and I, I do mean it um, the, the the only people that I feel really kind of give me solid issues on kind of on a consistent basis are either um, diamond players so and diamond players is basically filled up with um, you know high level competitive players and professional players um, as well as some other just ranked grinders like people that just play ranked all the time and shit like and, and obviously there's some absolute animals out there that don't play competitive but they're the only people that really give me um, a hard time um, there is exceptions of course sometimes that, you know there's some nutty gold twos out there and shit but um, for a general basis so I hope I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of mix in with them this season um, get into that high plat range the plat one and uh, try and make that push for diamonds so yeah. So I wanted to also kind of inform you guys on what my experiences just were um, trying, to trying to find a new team and lock down a new roster. Um, it was actually a lot more difficult and kind of stressful than I intended it to be, than I thought it would be. Um, I thought leaving Windigo and the kind of competitive experience that I had, I'd be, easily, I'd be able to kind of slot into a, a solid standard team um, pretty simply. It wasn't that easy, like so a lot of the teams that I tried for, I wasn't happy with either the kind of commitment and motivation of the boys, um, of the skill level of the team, the, um, maybe the rosters weren't full and stuff like that. It was, really, it was really difficult to find a roster that I thought had the capability to not just qualify for Challenger League, but to actually 
um, show up and try and do some damage in Challenger League, you know, because that's that's the goal. I'm not. I don't want to qualify for Challenger League just to to get smashed week in week out, you know, and show up to our games and get romped. Like that's not what I'm here for. I'm, I want to reach pro league level. Um, so I want a roster that's going to be capable of actually winning games in Challenger League and hopefully getting to the playoffs. But yeah, some of the teams I've tried for were good, good teams. Um, you know, and I was I was lucky enough for them to actually bring me in for a trial. Um, and I realized that there was actually a lot of my game that I was still lacking at that higher standard. I thought because I was kind of because I'm, I'm good at fragging. Like um, if I if I if I get on a roll like a Zofia or a Capitao or something like that, like I can play that role pretty well. Like I don't often lose that many gunfights, especially when I've kind of got a high DPS weapon, damage per second weapon, like Zofia, Jaeger, whatever. I don't often lose that many gunfights. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll just I'll just listen to what they say and um, you know hit my shots and we should be sweet wasn't the case a lot of the roles that they were looking for um two teams in particular they were looking for support roles so roles where i was playing a hard breacher droning a lot carrying the bomb oh my god if you if you didn't know now you know there is um there's an art to carrying bomb i've never carried bomb since i started playing siege i've just never been that guy i've always been this the kind of frag and roll outside of it rarely played hard breacher and there was a lot there was a there was a massive gap in my game which i've noticed and you know again i'm thankful to have the opportunity to scrim against some of these pro league teams and to play with some of these higher level teams and stuff like that because it really showed me just where i need to kind of up my game to 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 meet that standard you know so we're three months in right now just over three months but three months in a week um the progress in my opinion is still flying like i, I like i said the only people that really give me trouble now are the, the better better players um i know there could be people listening to this saying like he's talking shit but that's how i feel i don't feel like there's that many um there's that many players out there that have the edge over me anymore so um, I think it's just going to be this this next three months, this whole first three months was basically just learning the community, learning the game, uh, figuring out what competitive felt like, figuring out who was good and competitive, what teams were good, who was toxic, everything like that, just getting myself in the community and learning the game as much as possible. And now these next three months are gonna, is going to be like refining the skill, so that picking out the, the little individual pieces of my game that I'm missing and uh, trying to you know shape them out and become a all-rounded um, competitive player so um, with that in mind for anyone here that is looking for a team anyone that is um, you know on that on that grind they want to join their first team or they're not happy with their current team um, a couple of pieces of a couple of pieces of advice that I would like to give you uh, one would be try and work it out with your team internally if it's possible um, you know, I love them boys, the Windigo boys. Things didn't really work out just due to kind of commitments and stuff like that. But I can tell you, like, I, that team was strong, in my opinion anyway, compared to all the teams that I trialed with and stuff. Like, that team was pretty strong. Um, so if you can at all, fix it up and try and work out the issues within. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to benefit you as a team in the long run. And, you know, the longer you're playing together, the more synergy you build. So that would probably be my first step. I'd say always do try and figure that part out first. But if you can't, um, make sure you try for a few teams. So I might be wrong here. People might think that's kind of, um, that's bad ethic, bad ethics or whatever. But I try for like five or six different teams because... I was looking for a specific fit, you know, I, I wanted a kind of a well working engine that I could just kind of slot into and just be that extra player in that engine. I didn't want to come into a team and try and have to kind of build it up from the ground with all these boys and stuff, regardless of their skill cap. Um, I just wanted to join into a team. So it took me a little bit of time to, um, you know, play with different rosters, see how I felt, see what roles actually suited me the most and stuff like that. Um, and it, it kind of widened my horizon a bit, if, if that makes sense. It really, it really did teach me quite a lot about the community and you know who to look out for and what players are solid and what players um, aren't so solid. Just everything like that. So um, it was a really, really good experience. Like it was stressful as fuck. I didn't get to stream as much. You know, my like my content's not been out as much. I've just had nothing to make because it's just been all I've been doing is scrimming. And I can't show you guys the scrims anymore. So, um, 
yeah, it's it's good. It had, it had its good um, good parts and, and bad parts, but it's it's behind us now. We've got the new roster. As soon as I can, I'll be telling you guys what that roster is, showing you, making a, an update video on like the actual roster itself. But um, yeah, that's about that. So anyways, guys, there's not a whole lot of um, whole lot of else that I wanted to talk about. I'm really fucking keen to get in there and start smashing out this new season. I wonder if um, that new fortress map is straight and ranked. It probably is. Let me know down in the comments regardless. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, the best is yet to come, my friends. I love ya. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.